In Rafa, where I stayed last night, it, it was a consistent bombings and Apache helicopters. I don't have a military background, but I know enough to know those bombings. Uh, so when I walk into this hospital, as first family, my colleague and I speak to, the very first one is a little boy, Ali, who was asleep in the family home only a week ago, a third floor home, a regular home, a beautiful home, his bedroom, his desk, posters on the wall, like any child around the world. Suddenly bang, at five o'clock in the morning, a missile hit. Next thing, he's under the rubble. His mother, we then learned, is two floors above in the same hospital. We went to meet her. She's got head injuries, but she's okay. She's okay, but her other two children, she explained, her three and three or four month old and, and, and three year old, those two children have been killed. That's the first family we spoke to. That is the reality of this. This cannot be normalized. The consistent killing of children must not be normalized. That's Ix's story. That's the mother. That's her son's story. That, as long as this war continues, is a story that far too many parents are going to endure and be forced to live with for decades and decades.